Yo, what is up guys, GNSX here, and today we have a very, very special match of me via Santi, and it's for his uh, model type league that he created, where uh, each of us would choose two types, well not choose, it was randomized, but each of us would get two types and we have to draft according to those types. So I got Ghost and Fighting while he got Grass and Poison, and here is the finals of that uh, league. And Santi wanted me to record it for YouTube, so here I am recording uh, this match. So let's go ahead and go over the team. We have a Frost Last with Ice Beam, Sunbolt, Destiny Bond, Psychic, a Golurk, Sash, Rocks, Quake, uh, Shadow Punch, and Thunder Punch, AV, Conkelder with a pretty traditional moveset, a Citrus Berry Embor, a uh, Mega Millichan, and a Chandelier Scarfed. So, uh, I'm just going to tell him to I finish intro, let's start. So uh, he's probably recording this as well, and I'm going to lead with my Golurk because he is my dedicated lead. It deals with a lot of things on this team, especially the Pofish, which uh, I do want to get rid of at the start of the game. Uh, I'm assuming he will lead either Pofish or Drapion, which is both extremely good for Golurk. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Keep in mind that this is the finals, and so he does lead with Rapion. Really nice. I'm gonna Earthquake this thing to try and get this thing out of the way as fast as possible. Since this thing is really, really annoying for me because it's able to uh, block Zen Headbutt Zen Headbutts from my Mega Medicham. Um, surprisingly, he did not bring his Golbat, which is huge for me. Huge. Because I don't have a lot of stuff that can deal with that Golbat. And uh, this Drapion is also one of the only things that can deal with my um, Frost Dash. So, so he does not have any ground resist on his team except for probably uh, this, what do you call this, a Gorgeist. Um, yeah, so this is looking pretty good for me. I do want to get up Rocks because last match his Sash Gengar screwed me over really badly. So he just goes into his Scarlet, which is his uh, Gorgeist, and I'm going to set up my rocks here. It is looking defensive Gorgeist to me, but I do want to get off my rocks as fast as possible. I have a lot of spin blockers, so I don't really worry about uh, tentacles spinning away my hazards. Um, Golurk is pretty bulky, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, So I don't know what he's going to do, he actually chooses to double out into Quillfish, interesting. So I'm just going to Earthquake this in again. So probably expecting me to go into my Chandelure or something. No, probably, I'm not sure because, uh, no, he probably expected the, the, the what do you call it, the Embor. Yeah, he probably expected the Embor, but there was no way I'm going to double out there since uh, if he gets off any, un uh, this is the Golurk, and the main reason for me, uh, for this Golurk is to set up rocks. Um, he has his Quillfish in right here, which uh, can freely set up spikes and toxic spikes all over my team, which I do not like at all. So he goes back into his uh, Gorgeist, and now I'm actually going to go into my Embor just to spite him. <laughs> um, if he doubles back into Quillfish again, that's a really good play by him, but... Um, I don't expect him to do that after you just saw that. Um, I'm actually going to do some calping to see if Shadow Punch actually kills from this thing. I'm not, I don't think it does. But, ah, uh, no, I'm just going to go into my Embor. It's the safe, safest play overall. Embor can get off a huge hit on everything on this team. Um, let's see here. If I was him, I'd probably go for something like a Leech Seed right now. Or a uh, ghost type move. Um, we go into our M bars, it goes for a shadow sneak. That does way too much. I have no idea what that set is, but um, now we can go for the flare bliss. I think, right? Probably, maybe. I decay. Um, his cold fish and tentacle are both at max health. I want to go for wild charge, but flare bliss is overall just the best play as he goes into his uh, cold fish. I'm gonna go for the wild charge here. I should have wild chargers. Uh, Santi's not the type of player who uh, predicts me predicting him, so that is a lesson we should keep in mind. 
But if you can weaken this coefficient at tentacle root, it, it's going to be really good for me. Um, I can get back my citrus and two hit KO it with a wild charge. Yeah. I believe that is the right move. Or you can go straight into Golurk, but uh, weakening this coefficient is definitely top priority right now. Um, <clears throat> The main thing I want to get rid of is probably that Drapion, because if we get rid of that Drapion, uh, Frost House basically just wins. Um, so, let's see. It's taking an awful long time to think about his moves. Uh, his best play here would probably be Scalding, not setting up Hazards, because he doesn't want my Ember to be relatively healthy to stretch in his whole team. Um, Just gonna go for a spell, like I said. We get back our citrus as we are able to go for the wild charge and deal 61%. That is a lot. And now I'm gonna go for the flare of this because that takes him out. And another star is not gonna take me out. So this is looking really good for me right now. Um I'm also able to keep the sash on my Golurk intact. Goes for the uh protect on his quillfish. I'm still gonna go for the uh gonna, gonna go for the wild charge here because I'm not sure if there was kills. Wait, so wild charge is super effective, so that's 180. Uh Flareblitz is stab. Um I don't think it kills. Unfortunately. Well, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do some calcing here. Uh where is my showdown calc? Uh where is my calculator? If Flareblitz kills, that would be great, because I don't have to risk him going into Superior or something. Um, whoops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, so, I'm going to do a calc here, which is Coilfish. Let's say he's defensive, and Ambor. You are not tree banded. Um, so he is definitely not fully fist death. Yeah, Flareblitz definitely kills. Flareblitz definitely kills. He's gonna go for the Destiny, Destiny Bond and take me down with him. That's fine. That's definitely fine by me. Um, I'm gonna go back into my Golurk here. I'm expecting him to go into his um, Drapion or something like that. Uh, I don't want him to go into his Scoregeist, though, but I don't think he will do that. Although, knowing Santi, he probably would. But uh, going Scoregeist for him is probably the worst play for him because that just opens up opportunity for my uh, Frost Ash to wall break. But uh, I can just go into my Goldurk right now. Um, and even if he does go Gorgas, I can just Shadow Punch and get off as much damage as possible. That is also one thing that I do want to weaken, because it also threatens my uh, Frost Hass and Metacham with Shadow Sneaks and all that good stuff. So, I'm actually going to do some calcing here to see how uh, much a Shadow Punch would do to a Gorgeist. He is Gorgeist Super and probably extremely defensive. Golurk, Stealth Rocker, um, Shadow Punch, Ability is Iron Fist. There's a good amount. There's a very good, good amount, actually. Um, he goes into his Gengar, and I can just Shadow Punch this thing pretty freely. Uh, he has no switch I he knows I'm Slash. <laughs> it's not just Gen 7 yet. If you don't know, uh, Gengar actually got nerfed in Gen 7 and uh, has no more levitate, which is really, really bad for Gengar, in my opinion. But uh, we can just freely go for Shadow Punch here because nothing on his team resisted except for Drapion. And if he goes for Drapion, we can just go for the e Earthquake. Because, like, Sash on this thing is so good right now. Because it just threatens his whole team because nothing can just instantly kill me. And I can just pretty much OHKO or damage his entire team right now, which is huge. 
So Gold are putting in a lot of work right now. And also, I am extremely surprised that he did not bring Golbat because Golbat is such a threatening mon to my team. It's one of the only mons that wall my uh, Conkeldor. Uh, it's, it also only takes about 60% from a Life Orb Ice Beam from Fostas and does about 70 back with Brave Bird, which is ridiculous. And it also has a very decent speed and can also threaten my Medicham. It actually speed times with Med Medicham, which is really, really annoying. But so which I'm actually really happy that he didn't bring his go back. Um, he bought it last game and it absolutely destroyed me. <laughs> Just so you know, my only loss so far in this league was because of Santi. So he goes into his Scarlet and we are able to take it out with a Shallow Punch. He just sat his gore guys right there. Wow. Um It's probably gonna go into Serpura here. I can definitely see him going Serpura here. Um Things are looking pretty good for me. I want to see how much the ice punch do does to superior actually. Um, superior. Do I even have ice punch on this thing? I'm not even sure. <laughs> um, it does a solid seventy four to eighty eight. So let us see what he does here. We got rid of two huge threats to my team in Gorgeist and Quillfish, which is huge. Um, Ember did its job very well, weakening the Quillfish hugely. Um, and we broke a potential Sash on that Gengar. No, we have Thunder Punch on this thing. What am I talking about? Um, <laughs> my bad. I should have run Ice Punch instead, though. I'm going to go into my Chandelure here. And... I want to double out into Golder predicting the tentacle, but there's no reason for me to make that switch right now. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Uh, let's just go for the flamethrower here. There's no reason for me to risk it. Uh, even if he goes tentacle, I can just go safely back into my Golder. It blocks the rapid spin, and uh, if he scalds, let's hope for no burn. And if, even if he does burn, he does not have reliable recovery, and I can just spam earthquake. Yeah, so... Skull does break my Sash though, so pretty unfortunate about uh, with that. Um, he's probably doing some calculating right now. He knows that plus two uh, Leaf Storm kills my Chandelier. Um, I specifically uh, EV my uh, EV Contelder to be able to live a plus four Leaf Storm, uh, unless it crit. Um, I really want to double out into Golurk here as he stays in, as he has Aka Berry. Very well played by him, actually burn him, unfortunate for uh, Santi right there, but, 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 now he dies to rocks, I believe, yeah, I think he dies to rocks, um, we can go into our meta charm here, and mega evolve, and go for the bullet punch, just want to go into his, um, So we are able to take out the Serpira right here, which is huge. He's probably going to go into his Gengar now. Um, I think once we take out Gengar, uh, Golurk just went by itself. So, yeah. Um, I do see us winning this game. I'm debating on whether I want to keep Medicham or not. Um, it does LP Drapion and uh, this... Monstrosity right here, I forgot his name. Uh, Tentacle, yes, it does LSP Tentacle. And Drapion and OHKOs them both. So, I do want to keep it. Gengar is the most annoying thing right now, frankly. Um, pretty much. Yeah, I think I don't see him winning this game. He goes into his Gengar. Um, I'm, I want to go just go for the Bullet Punch. I don't know if it kills. 
If it kills, I think I just win it right now, but, uh, I wanna, I wanna, this is the finalist, I wanna, let's see. I'm assuming he is Sash, because that's what he ran last time, but it doesn't matter. Um, we are Medicham, let's see how much a Bullet Punch does. It does pitiful damage. 46 to 52. Okay, let's go into our open tower. Yeah, let's go into our open tower here. It goes for Shadow Ball. Um, we're gonna, just gonna go for the knockoff right here. We should be able to lift any hit from this thing. We are Assault Vest. And we can knock off an item right here. If he goes into Drapion, he can't deal with me. If he goes into Tentacle, he can't deal with me, so... Overall, things are looking pretty good. For me, um... I do still have a chance of losing, though. Uh, the, if I get rid of this Gengar, I think I just win, so... The main threat right here is the Gengar. I am a little sick, if you can't tell, but, um... Knockoff here, I believe, is the right play. I don't want to risk him staying in, going for something like Psychic, thinking it kills, and me going for Earthquake. So he does actually go into his tentacle, and that does a lot. Um, okay, so... I'm assuming this is offensive tentacle. Well, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake right here. Actually, Frost Lass might be the play. Frost Lass can definitely be the play. I mean, uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. Um... Okay, so... I definitely still have a chance of losing to Gengar, actually. Let, uh, 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 let me think this through. Actually, we're gonna need Frost Ass. I wanna keep my controller healthy for that Gengar. I don't want... Uh, me to pull some stupid mistake, sack lowering my controller cells to like twenty, and then having Gengar's speed tie was frost as, and then him winning the speed tie, and then just cleaning up Golurk, Melisham, and Frostass. I don't want something stupid like that to happen. I know Frostass lives any hit, and it also blocks the spin, and I can just go into it and go for the Thunderbolt spam. So I do believe Frostass is the right play here. If he doubles into his Drapion, well played by him, but if, even if he does that, I can just go into my uh, uh, Goldurk and just go for the Earthquake. So we do go into our Frost as here as he goes for a Scald as he burns. Um, not really a big deal, but we can just go for the Thunderbolt right here. Uh, preferably hitting that Drapion. Well, per I mean, preferably hitting that Gengar. If he goes into Gengar, uh, it's GG. I don't know why he would do that. But if he goes into his Gengar, that's GG. Um, he will definitely go into his Drapion here, and I do want to Destiny Bomb that thing. So, yeah, so let's see how this goes out. I'm, I think that if that does zero, what? That does absolutely zero. That the borderline negative damage. He is definitely fully split up, and he set up a toxic spikes, which is huge for him, because he breaks my sash. Yep. Well, I just kind of messed up right there. I did not expect him to live that well. This is a life full frost lass. He lived a thunderbolt from a life full frost lass. Wow. Um, I don't know what to say to that. Okay, so thankfully, uh, I do. I still do think I win. I'm not sure. 
If he goes into his Drapion here on the Destiny Mon, if he goes into Gengar on Monster Ristic Speed Tie, which I don't think is the right play. Um, I would, if I win that Speed Tie, I win. So, should go into Drapion here, and I believe... Yeah, so he goes into his Drapion. I'm just going to go for the Destiny Mon here. And... Maybe take him out, I don't know. You think that's a choice? Yeah, so we do take the Drapion out with the Destiny Bond, and I think we win. With our Golurk. I'm not sure if to if Toxic Spikes break our Sash. So I'm gonna go that. Yeah, so it does not break our Sash, so... GG, well played by Santi, and... That is gonna be our finals for this Monotype League. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a really big glass pain this uh in this league. And I'm pretty sure uh Santi will be making season two, so I might record that on YouTube, I'm not sure. But that is gonna be all for today and hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much and see you next time.